You're the craftiest mommy <laughs> that I've ever seen. Your necklace is blue and your skirt is green. You're so full of wonderful ideas of beautiful <laughs> bracelets and animals and all these amazing things. They're the best I've ever seen. And this is what we're going to do. Hi, this is Kim from Made by Mommy. And today I'm here with my friend Lori. Hi. Who you may recognize from television. She's a singer-songwriter. She performs with the Lori Berkner Band. And she's just started her own YouTube channel, which is pretty awesome. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Those of you who have been paying attention will notice this is going to be the first video on my channel using Rainbow Loom's new finger loom. And I get to be on it. I really love this loom. My daughter, Leah, who you've all met a bunch of times... She never took to using the hook. It was sort of too much to handle at once. Mm -hmm. um, she liked to work with her loom bands on her fingers, and that was that. But she picked this up, and right away, um, it was sort of a new world for her, where she could make more intricate patterns. We're going to do a three-peg fishtail. That's one of those bracelets that Leah couldn't do just on her fingers, and that this finger loom is letting her do now but it looks it's really cool. pretty <laughs> so every bracelet begins with a single rubber band <laughs> so you got to pick what do color to you do oh what color do you God. want to be first in your pattern blue bring it around one peg okay twist it like a figure eight and stretch it over a second peg does it matter which second peg it has to be next to it. Next to it. Okay. You don't want to go across. Okay. And then twist again and get over the next peg in the circle. Okay. Congratulations. Yay. You have accomplished the most difficult task of this bracelet. So step two is to take the next color in your pattern. And I suggest a clockwise pattern so you don't oh, get too so confused. Oh, so I don't get confused. This rubber band, you just... Okay. Stretch out and put over those three pegs. The same three that I already put the other one on. Exactly right. Okay. And so, do I leave it above the like the my white should be above my blue since correct. it was the second one. Okay. And now you want <laughs> your third rubber band. Okay. Again. And that's the next across color. Across all three pegs, and you want to keep it on top so that you have a stack now. The twisted one on the bottom. And so this poor and little then, fourth peg never gets used by me in this. Well, not to this bracelet. I mean. Sorry. I didn't want to challenge you too much, Lori. You know, four pegs might actually, be pushing it. That was a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> now the magic begins. Great. You're going to take your bottom most rubber band, that one that you twisted around in the figure eights, okay. and you're going to stretch it up and over the peg. And which and peg? Oh, do it for all three of them? Yes. Got it. In each position. And just pop it over the other two. It's good to have somebody here to make sure that I'm making sense. Because <laughs> I probably don't make sense very often. You made sense. <laughs> I just thought we only had to do one or that there might be an order. Yeah, but. no, one at a time. You're just taking it from the bottom over the top in all three positions. And it doesn't matter the order. Okay, I did and it. And then stick your finger in the middle just to push it down because okay. it tends to travel up when you do that. Okay. And now you're going to add that first color from your pattern again. Since we used three rubber bands for the pattern, mm -hmm. if you've sort of forgotten where you're at, yeah. it's the one that you just pulled over. So you can look in the middle and see the one that you just pulled over. That's the color that you're now going to stretch across your three pegs. And then we're going to the bottom again. And whatever and the second one was. And pulling that color up and over and doing it on each of those three pegs, up and over. Boink. And up and over. Okay. And then push it down. Okay. And can you guess? Take the second color, which was my white. And stretch it across three. Okay. And then take the bottom one. You got it. And pull it up and over. Up and over. You can look at it on its side. Oh, and, and whichever the one color is missing. The one that's missing. Got that's it. that's the color you need next if you've okay. used only three. And oh, good. when we get a little bit more length, we're going to be able to start tugging it from the bottom. The more you do it, you get into a rhythm. And you, you don't know. have to look as much? You don't have, yeah, you, you can do it sort of by touch and watch television at the same time. 
Oh, that's cool. Or watch yes. Lori's YouTube watch my videos YouTube channel while you Lori make your bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> so to make this a little bit easier for you, when you're starting, you had to keep pushing it down each step. Right. But now that you can see your bracelet peeking out the bottom of the loom. I can see it peeking. <laughs> You want to grab the very first rubber band you put on there, which for was, you was the bluish. Yes. And give it a good straight tug down. Tug down. And you'll see. Oh yeah. Ooh, can the you see that? The bracelet shape come together. Oops, I got the white too. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I see. It'll, it's connected. Yeah. yeah it, there we go. Once you tug on the green, it'll straighten out. But now that will help you instead of having to push it from the top to bring it down low for you so you can add your next rubber band on top That's and just so cool. keep on going until you have the length that you're comfortable wearing. Okay, so you're a lot farther along than I am, <laughs> um, but maybe you could just show me what I do when I get that far. Sure. So oh, once tail. you get to the point where you have the length you want mm -hmm. and the best way to measure it, you know, it's sort of the obvious way, ah. just sort of stick it around your wrist. Right now you only have two rubber bands left on here. Right. You're going to take again the bottom one and bring it over. All three of them. Yep. Now you have a choice to make. You could hook each of these rubber bands in one of these and generally it would stay on. But I usually feel safer with a knot at the end so ah. that if the plastic hook comes off, the bracelet doesn't burst. Show me the knot. So starting at one end, you don't want to start with the one in the middle. Bring one from the side to the middle. One from the side. To the one that's in the middle. Oh, over. And, and loop it in from that way? Yeah, just travel it on okay. over. And then bring your other side there. So that all three are on one now. Okay. Bottom rubber band to just come up through the top two. And when I pop it off, it's going to be knotted. Come up. So now I'm not pulling it over them. I'm pu almost putting it under the two, right? Yeah, you're going to okay. poke your finger in and to get that bottommost one. My finger's bigger than yours. Ah! That's good though. <laughs> well, and now just off. stretch that. And it's knotted. It worked. Oh, that's so cool. And so it has then a little loop. You okay. can have one of these little plastic clips. Well, thank you. Um, I can have one to of see how it works. You okay. know, you're gonna want to stretch your that first rubber band, stretch them, and pop it onto that clip. Stretching it makes it much easier to put it on. Okay. And then bring your other side, where you have your single loop. This is a bracelet for a very small person. <laughs> I think you just made a lovely ring. Oh, yeah. That's that, what I meant to That's what you meant to do. Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for showing me how to do this. I think it looks great. We'll make the mommy boogie, the mommy boogie. Ha, 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 ha.